Okay, so this is 2i, fluency questions number three and number four. So it's simultaneous equations using the substitution method. I have two equations here, equation one and equation two. Remembering that these two equations, if I graph them, are going to have some sort of intersection point, and I'm looking for the x and the y coordinate of the intersection point. Since one of the equations is in the form of y equals, I'm going to take what y equals and replace it in the first equation with that instead. So the first equation is x plus y equals 12. Since y equals x plus 6, I've got x plus equals 12. And I'm going to replace y with x plus 6 because that's what y equals. And that gives me 2x plus 6 equals 12. 2x equals 12 minus 6. 2x equals 6. Divide both sides by 2. Therefore, x equals 6 on 2 and x equals 3. Since y equals x plus 6, y must equal 3 plus 6. Y must equal 9. Therefore, the solution to the simultaneous equations is 3 and 9. Looking at question number 4, I can see that y equals 4x minus 7. So where y appears, I'm going to replace it with 4x minus 7. We've got 3x plus 2 lots of equals 8. And I'm going to replace y with 4x minus 7. So I've got 3x plus 2 times 4x is 8x. 2 times minus 7 is minus 14 equals 8. I'm going to add the x's together to give 11x. And I'm going to move the 14 to the other side and become plus 14. 11x equals 22. x equals 22 divided by 11. x equals 2. So half of my answer is 2. The other half of the answer is 4 times 2 minus 7, 8 minus 7, 1. So my solution is x equals 2 and y equals 1. And the last example out of question 4, I can see that x equals 5 minus y. So I'm going to replace the x in the first equation with 5 minus y instead. So the first equation becomes 2x minus 3 lots of equals 5. And instead of, sorry, I've got 2 lots of minus 3y equals 5. And instead of writing the x, I'm going to write 5 minus y instead. So multiplying this out, I get 10 minus 2y minus 3y equals 5. Add the y's together, give me minus 5y. And at the same time, move the 10 to the other side. 5 minus 10, minus 5y equals minus 5. Divide both sides by minus 5. y equals 1. So to my solution, I have this part of the answer. To find what x equals, I'm going to sub it in here. And x is going to equal 5 minus whatever y is y is 1, so x is going to equal 4. So there's fluency questions 3 and 4.